Park Club. Did a club proud when she was the president. The maximum publicity that any club got at that time was Bangalore Toastmasters Club, just because of this lady who is basically a PR person. Strength in that field ensured Bangalore Toastmasters was known all over. Presently a corporate trainer and her vast experiences by itself are a great learning for the participants of the, her programs. They get to know a lot of things because of what she is aware of. She was incidentally the first district public relations officer. She will be speaking on project 8 of the basic manual, use of props. May I request his, her evaluator, Mr. Robinson, to give us the project guidelines, please. Thank you, Mr. G. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. As for the schedule, this lady had to speak at the end. The schedule is given to me. It doesn't matter. So I will tell you the timings first. You have to speak only for 5 to 7 minutes. And your objectives are to learn the value of props in speaking and to learn how to use props effectively in your presentation. All the best. Her topic. A toast to my companion. Hello, Toastmasters. Let's welcome Mrs. Sumitra Manmohan. Thanks to my companion, the newspaper, today I could come to this meeting on time. He helped me cover my face so that I could escape the attention of my very talkative friend who would have prevented me from coming to this meeting. A very good evening, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and our special guests for this evening. Good evening. Good evening. Come rain or sun, my companion is always there to protect me. When there's a sudden downpour, I use it as a cover as, to, as long as I reach my shelter. When the sun comes out and shines fiercely at me, I use it as a sunshade to protect my complexion so that I stay youthful forever. <laughs> when I get into a room and it gets a little warm, I use them as my fan. When I was a child, I never got bored whenever it rained because he was there as this ship and as a boat to keep me amused. And sometimes when the sun came out, I made him into a kite or as a plane. Remember, in NCC, those campfires, how did we start a fire? By making him into small bits and starting the fire. And then we would make him into a pipe to make, to kindle the fire. And when the flames leapt up, we broke into a dance and merriment. During college, I remember all those heroes who would ogle at us, pretty girls. And what did we girls do? We tiptoed into the library just to tease them. And then we would pretend to read the newspaper, but steal glasses at them. <laughs> I am ever grateful to my companion because he got me my life partner. Form the classified. <laughs> I even got my first job in the same way. He's a very handy weapon to get rid of those irritating flies as well as those biting mosquitoes. He's such a versatile packing material 
Remember how we could always smuggle things into the classroom covering with his cover. And I was told the corrupt used him to pass hush money under the table. <laughs> Remember these conical packets? Yeah. They are unique to our country. The Kirana shopkeepers could pack right from 10 grams to 10 kgs of any provision. I can never imagine my day to start without my companion. Along with that steaming cup of coffee, he gives me a really stimulating start to my day. And before I fall off to sleep at night, I have to browse through him. He educates us, he entertains us, and he also provides information. I'm sure all you Toastmasters will agree, it's only thanks to my companion that we can become great table topic masters. Why? He's also an inspiration to many of our speeches, like mine today. <laughs> but what I admire the most in my companion is that he has stood the test of time, down the years, down generations. When the television came, I thought, I'll forsake him. But no, he came along with me as my mobile news giver. And sometimes, when people were late for their appointments, he kept me engaged through the crossword, the Sudoku, and other puzzles. I must confess, if at all I'm alert today, in spite of my age, it's thanks to him. And then came the internet. I thought for sure, I'm going to divorce him. But no, he reinvented himself. He became so colorful, he became so specialized, and became professional too. Yes, he's my very, very special companion. No, he's a special companion to all of you, isn't he? Yes. yes. Mr. Manmohan, I am sure you don't have a pet at home. We have a small puppy and this is a very good training too. <laughs> I use it at home. She's learning a lot from this. Thank you very much for that excellent speech. The next speaker for the Toastmasters is going to speak from the giving us an educational talk from the Better Speaker series.